Here we go, folks. And yep, I felt it. Basically, I was at that time. It was about one or two in the morning, and I rolled over, and it woke me up because I could feel the because I was sleeping on the deck. It was so beautiful out, and then thump. Okay, and then we got that quake right there. Okay, and it's not a beach, but that's Beach, North Dakota, is where the site's at that read it. Okay, so yeah, we had 3.3, and let's go see what everybody else had because. We go over here, and you're going to see all the fresh stuff. And as you notice, they didn't even report this one on here. So like I say, everywhere you need to go for, check on the quakes because they are trying to muffle it, okay? Then you click on something else to get to this one or at least get to that one, and I can get to this one here. The red is fresher, as you see. Hang on. Then we'll scroll out on this so you can see it better. Okay, but let's go ahead and go down through them. And you got to remember that also there was one where I was seeing that this was it this one here. I thought I looked earlier in that there was a precursor quake at about. So this this one's at because I thought I seen earlier that there's a precursor. That's three magnitude at 16:43 on the 29th. And then we're going to so I'm pretty on the 29th. And I thought there was one earlier. So. Hang on. And I got a feeling that they may have downgraded this. Okay. Now, I wasn't on the ground because I was on the deck, but I felt it. And it was gorgeous out last night. It was warm. Okay. But the actual fact, I've been in Cali before. Like, I was there for the seven point whatever up north. Okay. That in, in during the, when the Giants were playing the A's a long time ago for the, in the, in the, uh, playoffs. Okay. So, I wasn't on the ground to feel it as if I would have felt it if I would have been standing on the ground when I was in Cali. Now, in Cali, it makes you give you a really unfettled, un, because I've been laying in bed a lot of times and got quakes in Cali, and it's no big deal, you know. You just hear, feel the bump and stuff like that on some bigger ones, you know, not as big as the 7.0, but when I was on the 7.0, I was on my feet, and I could really, it really gives you an unsettled feeling because I've been around trains when they go by, and it was Mother Nature shaking us way more than a train has ever. I mean, it, it was like if 15 or 20 trains were coming at one time. So I've been around a lot of railroad before. So anyway, and then we got to remember that all we got all this out in Cali now, right now too. Even though the other smaller ones are fresh, okay? But also here I got the weather map on, and it doesn't cover up any of the earthquake things. But as you see on the eastern part of the United States, they're not showing the quakes that you get over here when you're at ANF, okay? So let me get this scrolled out because I think that there was another one there. And yeah, see, I saw it. See, what I did is I went down. I had me zoomed in at 150%, and now I got it at 125. And it looks like there was a precursor to the other one, too, above. Now, there's a precursor, you see, that was before the the bigger one here. And actually, there's getting to be so many East Coast ones. Normally, you could just click on the box, and you can pick it up. Now, what I have to, have to do is I'm going to zoom down because I can kind of see the shadow of that one. So go to 100 and there's another one below this one, you see? Let's see if I can get it on the back side. So 2.2, .2, and now let's see if I get the front one. 2.2, .2, was the time different? I don't think the time was different. Let me get a smaller screen yet. Boom. I don't know, I should have just scrolled down because basically you're going to see all the quakes on the bottom anyway. So I don't know if I can get it to see the top one. So we're getting precursors is all I'm saying, okay? Then we got quakes up here, too. A little bit old now, but two and a half. Egg. Everything up in Milwaukee. And remember, we had that action up in Ontario not too long ago, and also northern Saskatchewan. So, and there, if you get smaller, it spreads it apart a little bit, and then it's actually showing that green now under there. So you're getting quakes on the East Coast. Uh... I'll go ahead and go back and scroll down to the activity and all this down here is part of that what I showed you well actually there'll be a video I'm going to upload this one first because it's got a little bit better more pertinent and then there'll be a follow up and I'll even actually put because uh, actually I, I even put it in my index as Friday night was what and as you see Baja is just getting drilled okay 
and they'll be fresher than that if you go to matter of fact I think if I just pop over to uh, and see the Pacific Ocean is getting some besides Hawaii okay so you have to go to Google Maps and see how these stretch out marks are working underneath the ocean because that was a five magnitude there and so let's go ahead and go to Intellicast again and then we'll pop over and see there's nothing real fresh at Baja so but they're just getting drilled down there okay and they're probably one of the quakes not even registering on there and then whatever we got fresh at Hawaii now and actually I gotta get the map up here so that you can get the reading of it and then 2.2 okay so let's go ahead and go down to let's go ahead and scroll through this one here first this is usually a good European site because it is actually the you'll see what it said. I'm not even worried about what his name at this point in time, but get through the data. Okay, that's what it's called. Thank you, override. All right, because that wasn't me. So anyhow, here we go through the 5.7 in Peru. Peru got nailed a lot in a row. Look at all those 5.4422546. Band of C, Philippines. Told you the Philippines was going to get it because of the. And you'll see that from when you see the the video that I. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll go ahead and upload that first, and then this will be the following one. 5.5 in Mexico. Guerrero. Guerrero. Depending on how they want to say it, Venezuela. Venezuela down there also. So let's go to the second page to see what other kind of action we had because this is all from the 29th today so far. So as you can see, we are getting, and we're going to get, you could just imagine how much more we're going to get with those big items that you're going to see in the video that I'm going to upload right now that you'll see first. So here's more to the data going through here. And then we'll go over and we'll roll through. And like I know, Italy has been getting nailed. They had a, I think, a five point something that I put on the video last night. So let me get in here and go ahead and go to uh, this one here. AF yeah, again. We'll pump it up a little bit in size. Oh, no, oh, here's a zoomer over here now. Okay. So we'll go way out. And we'll see what's going on all over the place. And as you can see, that stuff on the East Coast, the United States, is the freshest that this site has been showing. Okay, so there's your earthquakes all over the world. Okay, let's go back out just a little bit, see what we got unusual. And as we say, we've been getting quakes up here. The Italy is not that unusual, but for them to get hammered so much just of late is very intense. There's Antarctica, making sure that there's nothing there, but you do see that one way down here. The Southern Ocean, 5.2, quite large. We'll go to the graphs real fast, and we'll see if we got anything going up at South in Antarctica at all. I looked at this a few minutes ago. There is sharpness around the world. Just what I mean by sharpness is just like sharp quakes like these. It's just stunners, just boom, like like stingers. Oregon, Australia, and I.E. a stinger. I showed you the North Dakota one. You know what I'm saying? Just so crack here and a crack there. Norway's got a little bit of action there again. Hawaii. Let me pop this up one. Maybe go too much, but that's good. You can see it good. We'll just cut that a little bit there and we'll scroll down. So we're going to ramp up big time by the stuff that's on ROSOE because basically it's on the very bottom of ROSE. You scroll all the way to the bottom of ROSOE. Solar wind speed is dramatically down from last night. Dramatically down. Now I'm not saying that it, our Aurora snapped back, but this is the north. And basically it might have been a big cause of the quake in North Dakota last night because of the actual factual that it was. Uh, and you'll see when you see my... Either I'm gonna, I'll start uploading that in a minute, and you're going to actually see how much 
it was off yesterday evening and how much it corrected itself, and then that's when we probably got the quake at 1 or 2 in the morning. Now, South Dakota did have a quake yesterday, too, that was on the graphs, okay? So I don't know if it registered on any of the USGS, but it did register. I just don't have a good page for USG listings anymore because they keep moving and changing their web address. So anyway, there you go, North Dakota. And when they do have a bigger circle, too, it was more, even though the mag, you got the mag, the, the size of the circle is not the magnitude of the, of the quake. It's the, the, the width and height of it, the length of it. You know, the area, the whole area, that's what I was looking for. So it had a big area on that 4.2 there. And also just this 3.3 had a big area. And also this one, okay? And don't forget the East Coast stuff that's not even listed on a telecast. You see what I'm saying that I showed you? Okay, now this is your local clouds this morning today. And also the fire index. And just about everything I got loaded on here. Temperatures. Temperatures and the fires. Australia. Fires overseas, over in China and Russia. Okay, Brazil, fires big time. Okay, fires up in Canada, also fires here. Eastern North Dakota. So, and there's your weather pretty much for the day, the cloud. Now this is the freshest for me, current time, right hand corner all the time, I'm right on my screen. Now, we're still getting the cross phasing, but we're not getting the spiking that you're going to see in the video that I'm going to upload in a minute from last night's data, okay? And everything keeps on falling down. Okay, it's falling down, everything's falling down. Still some static breakup on the signals from uh, uh, very kind of ashy CMEs, huge ones from the sun. They're not gr great big, huge, straight large filament they are a huge ash it almost seems like I mean it's red as red hot as hell and then you see you got a lot of up and down on the radio flux let's see what we got for anything for CME still sitting with those C's that we had but look at this C action that's just basically right on the line and it's in it's these are C's and it's like very sharp not sharp you know because it's not sharp like this but it's basically very ragged, I guess you would call it, right here in the C range. Okay, so that's a lot of C's. Wham, 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 wham. So are we going to build to something, a big one? And what's scary about that is Earth's pretty much facing us right now. I mean, the sun is on the flare areas, okay? And they were expecting there was higher odds of having an M flare. And basically, so there's why we got the fresh ones in the United States. So see, this pressure thing holds out all the time, okay? So this is your dangerous areas for quakes again is the pinkish mauve gray area, okay? And also over here. So you gotta watch your ionospheric pressure. Ionosphere pressure. Ionospheric pressure. It's your base of your ionosphere. It's our pressure on our ionosphere. And when it's like this, then whammo. Okay, four to five old, hours old, shot of the sun. And that's what kind of CMEs we're getting. Those are C's, but they're very huge and ashy. And what I'm just putting out for the concept of ashy, what I'm talking about is you've seen how spread out it was. And you see a lot of stuff coming in from the left there. Comets, stars, or asteroids flying by the sun like wild. And their sun puts the CME off. Can't miss all these comets and stuff to the left. See those? I just accidentally froze some of them as I was messing with the deal. You see all these comets here all over this area. See these? It's worth backing up just to see all those comments again. And the sun always protects itself with its... And we're going to hurry up and try to get this other shot in. So I'm hoping there's nothing dramatic here at the end. As soon as I even get towards the bottom, it doesn't look like nothing's going to happen. We'll get up here to the other shot.